Hancock. Mm. Call us. So, Lucy Kennedy, come here, tell us. What was all that chat about superstar Irish girl bands swimming in custard? Yeah, and if it's not Maxi Dick and Twink, it better be Sheba at the very least. <laughs> all the sophistication of delinquent sewer rats. As opposed to our first guest tonight, who are très sophistique, so sophistique in the fact that their biggest number one hit had a catchy frog chorus. Back with such a bang as if they'd never been away, a big New Year's Eve welcome for Shane Zone's little sisters, Adele and Kiva Lynch, ex Bewitched. Isn't 50% of Ireland's most successful? 50%. <laughs> Welcome, Kiwi and Adele Lynch. Yep. Yeah. Kiwi and Adele. How are you, ladies? How are you doing tonight? Good, Good thanks. Good. How are you? Good. Looking, Looking gorgeous. Looking gorgeous. Some of that turkey there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's been there since Christmas yeah. Day. I wouldn't yeah. go near it. It's not actually a turkey, it's a badger. <laughs> oh. yeah. We like to have something different at Christmas. Yes. <laughs> now, listen, when people think of bewitched, firstly, they think of, well, Stonewashed gyny denims, and secondly, <laughs> the most annoying ever Irish single, Say La Vie. I, yeah. I agree, you're right. <laughs> no, but did you make a few bob out of it? We did. It is. Good. Houses, good. cars, like and all that. Well, yeah, that's good. That's what, you know what? What the hell? Exactly. It's New Year's Eve. Why don't we just show a bit of Say La Vie? Do you want to hear it? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's have a reminder of the big hit. Give us a look there. Come on then. <laughs> Hairstyles were terrible. You know what? You haven't aged that much in fairness, is. No, no. Oh, Ten years really later. Really you know what? You know the Bewitched logo? Yeah. yeah. Can we have a look at that for a second? Yeah. What are you going to say? Do you see that star thing there? Is that is the full name Be Fucking Witched? Were we missing something? Yeah. That's what we were reading it as all along. Yeah. So fucking loony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time, though, now to hear the name of our next Fijit Award nominee. Mm. Don't worry, it's not you. No. I was Hold just going to say, no. you better no, not be. No, 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 you're already <laughs> safe. Lucy and Freddie. And our next Fijit Award nominee tonight is a plate based Irish chef who isn't such a hit with the birds. Chicken tonight? He doesn't think so. Yes, for frightening the bejesus out of the Irish poultry industry. The, the second nominee is a cockadoodle do scaremonger, Richard Corrigan. Crap. It's absolutely crap. It's muck. Why would you put shit in your mouth, Pat? Basically, that's what you're putting in your mouth. Really. That is what you put... When you see the conditions these chickens are kept in, you wouldn't eat us. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, they don't make salmon out of like they used to. Another one down. Yeah. Book up your Egypt, Corrigan. Yeah, hating the, uh, the chicken foodie punts, that's what you are. Listen, Pat, <laughs> we like our chickens deep beaks, reared in the dark with their legs lobbed off and fed the poo from other chickens. <laughs> yeah, and they like it too. They do? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, 2002, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll bring you back to 2002. Let's go, let's yes, we're back. off in Africa, right, shooting a video for your eighth single. We actually never got to Africa. Did you not? What? No. We were in America and we got a phone call and we were told we were dropped. We were waiting for a phone call to say we were going back to Africa to shoot the video. Oh, yeah. That yeah. never happened. But so you were be you were be ditched. We were. <laughs> we were be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what have you been up to since, though? Um, we kind of lost it for a while, sat and drank and cried, and then we got back on our feet and got into the studio. And I wrote an album. Miguel wrote an album, and then we came back round to each other about six months ago, and we've been writing together, and we're coming back together. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. great. Now we're telling. Because what's the story kinda... with the other two bitches? Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're still we're still friends with the girls. We talk to the girls. No, you don't yeah, at all. We do. Yeah. I told you they'd, they'd be sitting there. Oh, you'd no, love to believe that, wouldn't you? You never asked them on. You only asked us. <gasps> well, that's What's true. That we thought we'd be in with a chance with you two. Yeah, yeah. Well, like you yeah, said, one of us. Play your cards right, and you might yeah. be lucky. Yeah. Come here. We heard rumours in your house when you were growing up. You had a fountain in the dining room. Oh, oh it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Yeah. What kind of fountain is it? Water it's just, it's like a rockery, <laughs> trickling of water. It's got some 
Chinese. It's like a cave. It looks like a cave, and then there's water trickling down the side of the cave. Jeez, that's really. That's my name. That is class. I like that in our front room. That's class. Well, listen, come here, girls. You're going to stay around it since it's New Year's Eve. We are. And we'll you'll you'll come back in for the big countdown at midnight. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, it's great. You know what? It's been great meeting right. lovely girls. Fair play to you. The Lynn sisters, the King sisters. Right. Now see the witching hour is fast approaching. What's on the other side? Let's have a 